so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make gorditas stuffed with ground beef and red chili. So in case you guys want to learn how I make these delicious gorditas, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with the ingredients. So for this recipe, we're going to need four cups of maseca, one cup of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, a half a tablespoon of salt, three and a half cups of warm water, two cups of vegetable oil, and for our stuffing, we're going to need one pound of ground beef, 12 chile guajillos, four tomatillos, three garlic cloves, a half a teaspoon of cumin, and of course, your salt. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right, so first we're going to start by boiling our chiles, tomatillos, and garlic cloves. While that's boiling, we're going to start working on our masa. Okay, so first we're going to start by mixing all of our dry ingredients. So here I have the masa, I'm going to add the flour, the baking powder and the salt. So I'm just gonna mix it all together and then add our water. And just add your water slowly. And just keep mixing it with your hand. we're going to start working on our gorditas. We're going to preheat our oil in medium high heat and then we're going to start working on them. So I'm just going to turn my stove on medium high heat and add two cups of vegetable oil. Now we're going to deep fry our gorditas. You can also place them in a comal, you know, if you don't want to deep fry them, that's another option. We're just going to let that, you know, get hot. And then meanwhile, we can turn off our chiles and tomatillos here. Okay guys, so once our oil is hot enough, we're going to start working on our gorditas. Um, here I have a separate bowl with water, you know, because it's easier, you know, to work with our dough when our hands are wet. So I'm just gonna grab like a golf size ball of dough, just like that. And then we're going to make our circles pre um, using the palm of our hands. So once you have your bowl like that, just start working, you know, creating that um, gordita. And it's okay if it's not, you know, a perfect circle because we're going to work with it. And you don't want it to be very thin because we are going to cut them open. So you want them, you know, to be a little thick. So see, it's not gonna be a perfect circle, so just use your fingers to stretch it out, you know, so we can get close to having the perfect circle. And then like I said, you can put them, you know, in the comal after and just cook them like that if you wish. But I like my gorditas deep fried, so. Okay, so now we're just going to place it in the oil and then just cook it until you know it's golden brown. So we're going to do that with all of our dough. So once, so once both sides are golden brown and they are done cooking, we're going to take them out and drain them on a paper towel. Okay, so I'm gonna let them like that and I'm going to add my other gorditas. Okay, so as soon as you remove them from the oil, you're going to cut them open. Okay, you wanna do it when they're hot because it's easier to open them than once they get cold. So using a sharp knife, we're going to Puncture it right like that, and then go around it. And just be careful, you don't wanna damage the gordita, you know? So just keep your knife in the middle. And just go work, work your way around it. 
just like that. And you want to make it big enough so you know we can stuff them. So just like that, see? But you want to go low, so like that when we stuff them with our meat and all the good stuff, it can go all the way to the bottom as well. And we don't have just like the masa, you know? So just go all the way down like that. So once you have them like that, see? Just open like that. We're going to um, place them to the side and do it to all of our gorditas. Okay, so while we're frying our gorditas, we're going to start working on our chile. So we're going to put all of our chiles and tomatillos and garlics in our blender. Make sure you get your garlics. And we're going to add one cup of water. The water, the same water that we boiled our chiles and tomatillos. And then we're going to add some salt, a little bit of salt. So we're just going to blend that all together until we have a smooth sauce. Okay, so once we have our sauce, we're going to strain it. And I'm just going to get a little bit of the leftover water and add it to my blender just so I can get all the leftover sauce. Just mix it. Okay, so once we have all of our sauce, we're going to start working on our meat. Okay, so for our meat, I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit so my meat don't stick to my pan. So just wait until that gets a little bit, of, a little bit hot and then we can add our meat. Okay, so once our oil is hot enough, we're going to add our meat. We're going to add one fourth of a teaspoon of cumin and just a little bit of salt. So we're just going to cook the meat for about 10 minutes or until all of our meat is brown. So just make sure that you're steering occasionally, okay? You don't want to burn your meat. Okay guys, so once our meat has turned brown, we're going to drain any fat. I'm just going to drain my fat. See that? Okay, so once we have removed the fat, we're going to add our sauce. Just make sure you get all of your sauce. And now we're just going to let our meat and our sauce come to a simmer. So let it simmer for about 10 minutes. And then basically you just want to taste it for salt. And if it needs any salt, you know right now is the perfect time to add it. For me, it's perfect. It's delicious. So now we're just going to let it come to a simmer and then our meat will be done. So after 
15 minutes, this is what our meat should look like. As you can see, the sauce has reduced down. So now our meat is ready and our gorditas are ready to be stuffed. All right, so now I'm just going to stuff my gordita. I'm going to add some meat. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to garnish my gordita with some lettuce. Some queso fresco. And some sour cream. Some crema mexicana. And there you have your gordita. It's ready to be enjoyed. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. <laughs> your favorite of many. You ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, <laughs> so good. They're just perfect, you guys. Honestly, super delicious. Um, they're not spicy, you know, so your kids can even enjoy them, as you can tell. Um, <laughs> they're good. Super delicious. Ready to sit down and enjoy them? Let's go. <laughs> Alrighty guys, and there you have it. Super easy and delicious gorditas. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And I also hope that you guys give this recipe a try. And as always, you guys, let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite um, stuffing that you like to stuff your gorditas with. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. And also hit that little bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.